In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually uncap your FPS on a Minecraft for Windows 10. So let's get into it. Now starting off, go to your worlds in your Minecraft folder. Then just open up any world that you would like to be on. And you can just see that your FPS has been capped. Open up Xbox Game Bar by searching it up in the search bar. But simply click on it to open it up. Now once you're here, you're basically going to want to look for the performance tab. Now as you can see, the performance tab is right over here. Just click on FPS, and then you're going to want to click on the pin button, which is right up here. Now once you've actually done this, you can click back into your game, and press resume game. Now simply just walk around for a little bit, and as you can see, my FPS is capped at 75. Now this is obviously a big problem. Especially if you have monitors that can actually go over 75 refresh rate. Or if you just want more FPS in general. So to actually uncap this FPS to make it a lot better, it is actually pretty simple. So let's get into it. So what you're going to want to do is go through a series of folders. So I'm going to actually leave this down in the description to get exactly there very fast. But what you're going to want to do is go search up for percent app data in your search bar. And it is just like that, percent app data percent sign. Then just open it up. Now once you've actually opened it up, just click on app data. Then once you're actually at app data, what you're going to want to click on is a local. Within local, just click on packages, just like so. Then look for Microsoft.Minecraft and just click on that. Then once you're here, click on the local state, and then click on games, and then Mojang. Then what you're going to want to click on is Minecraft PE. Now once you're here, you're going to want to edit the options text. So what you're basically going to want to do is open it up. Just double click it like that. So once you're actually in this folder, what you're going to want to do is look for GFX underscore VSync. So it's just going to be a little bit down, as you can see, this is the GFX list. And you're just going to want to look for VSync. Now, as you can see, while going down, I found it, and VSync is right over here. So just find that on yours as well. So then after this, what you're going to want to do is, as you can see, it is a 1. So you're just going to want to delete it and type in a 0. So it should look just like that. Now, obviously, since you have edited it, you're having to go to Files, then you're going to want to click on Save. If you do not do this, then it will not save. So, as you can see, I clicked on Save, and now I'm just going to want to go back into Minecraft. But, obviously, you're going to want to refresh your game as well. So, you can just close out of this since that is no longer needed. And then, what you're going to want to do is obviously exit out of your game as well. So now as you can see, once we click on play, I'm getting a lot more FPS. As you can see, it says 142, and as you can see, my FPS goes all the way up to 160. And now is a lot more than I originally had it. Now this will obviously fluctuate more since it is not capped. But it obviously leads to me actually getting a lot more FPS. Especially if you edit your video settings to be a little bit less so that you can get more FPS. And as you can see, I am at 140 to 150. And that is great considering that is over double my normal FPS. So that is actually really great, and I would recommend you doing this, especially if you want to match it to your current monitor, especially if you just want to have more FPS. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is a little bit shorter of a video just because this is pretty simple to do. And I hope I helped you in some way, shape, or form, or leave a like, comment, and subscribe if I did, and share it with a friend if they have this problem as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.